John Rasmus with Rasmus Gaming here. Yes, I do still play Black Desert Online. Mostly just to train. Just to show you. Not that anyone cares, but uh, I'm now Professional 3. That's pretty high, depending upon what server you're on. See, uh, the bottom two are professional three. I am occasionally on this list, depending upon who's online. So uh, I have not sought to be on the list, but it's pretty cool to occasionally be on it. Now I just bred two of my most powerful horses, and I'm about to collect the foal right now. Moo, a tier six, I trained all the way to level 30. And Winnie, a tier 6 that looks identical, I trained all the way to level 30. Two T6s, level 30. I prefer to not even bother breeding T4, 5, and 6 unless they are at level 30. You're missing out on a perfect foal if you do not train all the way up to level 30. On tier 3s, I'll occasionally breed them at level 10 because at this point I have tons of tier 4, 5s, and 6s. And I have one tier 7. And hopefully I get another tier 7. The highest horse you can possibly get is a female T7. Unless, of course, you're just going for the pure bread. These horses have, I believe, three white and three black each, giving the foal the chance of six black, six white, but I do not believe the algorithm is that perfect. If the baby has red in it, it proves the algorithm is a little bit messed up. A pure white, I believe, has seven white, if it's a T7, and I don't have seven white. You have to go for some rare brown and white horse, which I wasn't able to find. So I bred two identical T6s. Let's collect the foal right now. Receive foal. Please give me a good horse. <gasps> okay. It gave me a male. A little bit disappointing, but I think, you know... I'm hoping that it's a T7. Whew. Um, I'm going to name him Chaco. Confirm. Chaco. Chaco, what? What the heck? Chaco's a T6? Oh my gosh. I feel really ripped off. Do you know what the chances of two level 30 T6s to get a T6 male? I could have bred two level 1 T6s to get a T6 male. T6 male is on the lower spectrum. It's like the smallest percentage to get that. Uh, I feel ripped off. But, but there's a chance... There is a chance that I got a rare high white, the one I was talking about, the brown and white. So let's take a look at the horse list on the horse calculator webpage, and let's see, it's a T6. It, uh, okay, let's see. What does it look like? Has braided hair. Okay, T6 braided hair. Ooh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. You know what? As horrible of a horse this is, it is a rare four white. It's four white, three red. So even though I'm disappointed, it has four white so he can theoretically have a baby with a three white female and get the rarest horse in the game a pure white 
white seven t7 so uh that's what i'm going for and uh at least that helped me all the game looked at was can i get a pure white or a pure black and it said nope not enough points so it gave me this well not too bad not great but at least it gave me a possibility of a pure white in the future so I gotta go to the breeding market and uh, receive and I'm gonna have to uh, recover Moo as he still has one more breedability left as far as Winnie let's take Winnie out real quick here's Winnie and I trained her forever if you want to know how long it takes to br to train a T6 to level 30 oh my gosh it takes like four days it takes like three or four days in the real world to train it that high now I'm not gonna recover her because that's a waste of my money what I'm gonna do is register her at the market and she's worth 20 million gold <laughs> silver <laughs> she's worth 20 million silver <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to buy her because she's so expensive, but let's do it. Winnie is now on the horse market for 20 million. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to buy her because she's not breedable. I already used her breed, but she has zero death. And she's a good trade-in. She could be traded in for a T7. So trade-in wise, she's actually pretty valuable. So here's the breeding market. Usually has crap. Occasionally has something good. Here's the horse market. Here's my Winnie. 20 million. Um, yeah, that's expensive. But the fact that she's on the front page... The game is saying that the algorithm that she's very valuable. She's valuable because holy crap. She's a two seater. Oh my gosh. Winnie has two seater? I didn't even know that. <laughs> Winnie has the rarest skill in the game. She has two seater, which means two players can ride her. A skill that is both rare, unique, and worthless. Because there's no such thing as a high-level player that doesn't have their own horse. The only time two players are going to ride is if, I guess, if they're a couple and they want to go on a romantic journey, which ain't going to happen too often. Or if they're taking a screenshot to show off the fact that the horse is a two-seater. That's pretty much the only two scenarios in which two-seater is going to be used. But two-seater is the reason this horse's value is not 10 million, but is 20 million. So uh, hopefully someone buys her based on that alone. That is actually pretty cool. And I hope someone buys Winnie, two-seater. So how many skills does she have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 12. She has 12 skills took me about four days to train her up to level 30 four days because the game is going to crash occasionally and while you're sleeping while you're away playing pokemon go you can train your horse in black desert online and that's what i do it's pretty fun i am going to eventually actually play this game but right now this exact second i'm going to take out Chaco. And I'm going to start training Chaco. So the first thing I do when I train Chaco, at least Chaco started with Quick Ride. Quick Ride is a pretty useful skill. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put some, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, what's going on? So this is Chaco. Uh, I left, I left the, uh, armor that I like on a horse that I bought for resale 
You know, if you see a cheap horse level one, buy it, train it, sell it. So I bought this horse at level one. It's level seven now. I'm probably going to train it to, because it's a T6, I'm going to train it all the way up to level 30. I'm going to breed it, then I'm going to sell it. I bought it because it's a female. Females are rare. Check in. All right. So I'm disappointed that Chaco is a male, but, and I'm disappointed he's a T6, but I'm happy that he's at least a rare four white. It's not easy to get a horse with four white. Four white is the highest white I think you can get in the lower horse range or even the higher range in an attempt to get the coveted pure white you have to breed something that has a combination with the male and the female of seven white and it's easy to get two threes and it's hard to get A four. So I got a four. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to get a mail in my mailbox when Winnie sells for 20 million silver. Now, I think the game takes 30% or some huge percentage. So, uh, that's going to suck. And I occasionally go over here to the marketplace and I uh, see if they have any rare black dye. See what the carrot value is at. It's pretty dirt cheap. Uh, I already got plenty of carrots though. You know what? Wow, 717 for a high quality. It's pretty low. That is pretty low. Um, yeah, I guess I'll buy a couple of those. I guess I'll buy a couple of those. Those are uh, it's pretty good value. Pretty good value. Come on. It's a captcha for every single thing you gotta buy. I guess the people who created this game are a little paranoid of the cheaters that constantly cheat in games. They took like every precaution possible. And I guess, you know, it's pretty smart to be rather safe rather than sorry. So I bought a crap load of carrots. And all I do is uh, walk up to my uh, preloaded script of running back and forth. And it's a pretty good setup. I don't even have to double check anymore. I've done it so many times. Look how many carrots I got. I have 256 special carrots that I bought at 1.5k each. And 193 high quality carrots which I just bought at 700 and something each very cheap I really like the new daily rewards they're actually good they're trying to get people to continue to play the game so they're giving out all these cool daily rewards and uh, you can sell them at the marketplace for many millions I mean this is worth 2.9 million this is worth 285k you can't sell that these are worth 300k each. Very cool. So I thank you for watching. This is Black Desert Online. I'm a professional three. Not seeking to be an artisan one or anything, but uh, I'm just having fun training while I go play Pokemon Go and other games. Be seeing you.